I'm Stephanie Towns and I am an assistant professor of clinical neurology. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist. We're trained traditionally as clinical psychologists and then we go on to do specialized training in brain behavior relationships. I think the most common referral reason is usually memory loss, and that can be anybody in their 20s and concerned about a history of concussion to people who are in their 60s and 70s starting to become concerned about memory changes. But we work with people with all kinds of neurological diseases. It involves you know, a clinical interview that can take up to an hour where we get history from the patient. Frequently, we also talk to a family member or a loved one. We do a series of paper and pencil tests, remembering lists, drawing pictures, solving puzzles. We assess across the spectrum of brain function, even if the patient doesn't have a complaint. And we take their scores and through statistics compare them to healthy people of the same age and education level. We also pull together medical records, neuroimaging, um, feedback from neurology. So then when the patient comes back to get their results, we're able to tell them that what they're experiencing is perfectly normal for their age, or we're able to highlight where they're brain is having trouble working, what we think the cause is, and then we make recommendations for what they should do about it.